This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning, everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Baruch Abam. Today we have the great Chus to learn about the Ois Yud. And as mentioned, as the Sashem is coming Tuesday morning, we'll have the Zuchus and privilege to hear live from the Pe'er Halacha himself. So we got a lot of uh, good use out of the Sefer. I think it will be... It will enhance our uh, learning experience to have him on the shear. Okay, so let's begin with the Ois Yud. Here are the Maramakoim Ois. Here we go. Ois Yud. Shear Gufa Maloi Komos Echad. The shear of the body of the Yud is one Komos. Now, he doesn't say if that means in width or in height. But then he says, Shaloi Tadam Alresh. You don't want it to look like a Resh. I guess either way, in this diagram, it's one wide. It's also one high. If it would be too wide or too too uh, horizontally, then it would look like a resh. Also, if it would be too vertically, it would look like a resh. Okay, S- certainly if it would be too both ways, it would look like a resh. The yichtav oisa yishara, you should write it straight. And that is that its head and its face should be equal. The light put out clapping not facing upward, not like in diagram two ice bays where the head is facing upward. Gamtia Lamala Agula. It should also be rounded above on the right side, lechatchila. Namely, in diagram three, it should be rounded over here. Vyasala regel mitzad yamin. You should make um, a foot on the right side. Let's see, like in uh, diagram four, it should have a that's should have a regel on the tzad yamin, like in diagram four. V'ya'akim regel tzad smal. This is important. The regel yamin should be bent toward the left side. V'ya haregel katsar. The regel should be short. V'loi aruch shalai tadam alavav. You don't want the regel to be like avav. So it should be short. And otherwise, if it's too long, it's going to look like a vav, a tifasal, a kriya If a kid reads it, it's going to be pasal. Okay, number... Gam tzarech liyos lehayud tag katam omala alpana. The yud should have a thorn. This is the tag, okay? This is the tag. Sometimes it's known as kutzay shal yud. Sometimes, some rishonim say this is kutzay shal yud. There are many different interpretations of Kutzah The classic one, um, this is the tag on top. Ukenegda ukets katan yarid melamata. Opposite, there's a thorn below. Veha ukets ya katser tag. The ukets should be shorter than the tag. The tag should be longer, taller than the ukets. The tag on top should be bigger than the ukets is on the bottom. Also, you have to make sure the ukits on the left side is shorter than the regal on the right side. Because if you're not careful and you make the ukits on the left as long as the regal on the right, it starts to look like the ches. If you were marich, the ukits on the left side, until it's equal to the regal yamini, Venere is keches, ketana, and it looks like a small ches, psula. It's going to be pasal. So he said, not a problem, I'll scrape. Ah, that's going to be chag, chag tuchais. That's going to be creating the letter by scraping. Mahani It's not going to help to scrape the ukets. Ad sheyia katsar It's not going to help to scrape the ukets until it's short. I'm sorry, to have a Ella, what do you got to do? You have to scrape the whole ukuts. Ella, you got to The You're going to have to scrape the whole bottom thorn and then rewrite it. But to scrape off until you have the requisite ukuts, 
That's a problem because you're changing it from a ches to a yud without writing, just by scraping. It's not going to help if a kid reads it. Meaning, it's not going to help if you extended the ukut and the kid sees it and he sees a yud, it's still puzzle because it's a ches. I don't care if the kid sees it as a yud. It is a ches. So it's not going to help if the kid reads it. Kane Havi Besefer Mishas Avram Beshem Beis Yehuda Ola David Emes Umasir Rekeach the Kenasoy from Simon Yer Beis. Now this scraping, of course, is only going to help in a Sefer Torah. It's not going to help in Tefillah Mazuzos because of Shalai Kesidron of a Sefer Torah. Myri, this talking about a Sefer Torah. Veloy B'Tefillah Mazuzos to have a Shalai Kesidron. Ah, now this is critical. So we would think all we need to do is scrape off the whole ukuts. Now the Mishabura throws in a curveball. You ready for the curveball? V'yesh Misha Kas. There is such an opinion. There is a shita of the re aksandarni. He the kaimal and kavase we hold like it. That sarach ligra gam regal yamini vaachikach yisakin. It's not going to help to scrape off the left leg if you're going to be machshir the sliver. You're going to have to scrape the right leg as well. I'm not sure why that's the, the case. It seems like he holds that if the letter was written bipsul, it's not going to help to be machshir the letter. In other words, now you you made a left ukitz and now it looks like a ches. So you say, I'll just scrape it off. Just scrape it off. That's still chak tuchas, perhaps. Because you're creating a yod by just scraping. Yeah, but I'm going to make an ukitz afterwards. Yeah, that's not called making a yod. An ukitz alone is not called making a yud. I have to make regal yamini also. It's not going to, you're not going to get around the chaktuchas unless you write begufa ois. And making the ukitz is not sufficient to, to consider it writing begufa ois. You have to write the regal yamini also. This is, comes from the chuvas chavas yar simen ayendad, vuvah pischei chuvah yardeh simen, reish ayendad, siv katan vav. Ba'ayim b'ber halacha shabayarnu, t'yesh lahachmer k'day azoy. That you shouldn't just scrape off the ukets smiley. You have to write regal yamini as well. Ah, uh, next. Let's say you make the yud, and it just you make such a fancy tag on the top. It looks like a miniature lamid. So this is how you made the yud. The sefer Torah shenim tzaba yudin kitzras lamid katana absula, a sefer Torah that you found yud. Like the tzura of a small lamed is puzzle. The tzarch ligra kol ha'ais. You have to scrape off the whole letter. There's there's no way to fix this. What are you gonna do? You're gonna scrape off the top. So that's chak tu chais. You have to scrape off the whole letter and write the yud from start. The belav hachi have a chak tu chais. So I'm not sure why it wouldn't be good enough, sort of, to scrape off the tag on top. Scrape off the regal yamini, but leave the sort of the guf ice. You know, why do you have to erase everything? But that's what the Mishnah Sofram says that you already have a postal letter. Okay, so let's think about what you have to scrape off. You're going to scrape off the top, you're going to scrape off the regal yamini. It seems like the the letter is a little bit more than a kolmos, but why can't I leave that nakuda? What am I lacking by leaving sort of this goof? You're right, now it's possible, but I'll be machshirit by making a tag on top and by making a proper regal yamini. And it's not chak tuchais because I'm writing the goof ois. But if those aren't the re- then you had a yud already. What? The, the ois dalid. You have a yud already. It's not ma'ak. Are the ukets and, and the tag ma'akiv? Without the ukets and the tag, you still have a, no, but, still have but, a yud. But the, definitely the regal yamini is ma'akiv, right? You should look at the uh, ois dalid. He says you, you, you're scraping the bottom, bottom part and making it a shorter one. You have a yud right here. So you, you scrape to make a yud. Where, 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 uh, in, in 12, dalid. 12 ois dalid. 12 ois dalid. That's the example that he says it's still chaktuchah. It's 12 
Oh, he's Dal, the, the fourth one there. Uh huh. So I think that that's the example that he's showing is Chaktuchas because you're scraping, you're creating a yud. You don't have the tag and the and the and the and the okay, it's okay, but that's that's not Makhan. You already have the yud, but yud there just from scraping. And so I would say so scrape off the uh regal yumini. That's not the ukits over here. This is regal right, yumini. No, 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 I oh he's saying scrape the whole maybe that's what he means by basically scraping the whole thing. Thing just leaving it the sounds body. Sounds like because you already had a lamut. Once you had a lamut, so the lamut is wrong. You're okay. Gonna get rid of the lamut and start again. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, but what 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 am I violating by leaving the Nakuda Katana and then adding and then, and then adding regal Yamini and then a tag? It's not it's not that's not Chaktuchas, that's writing the Gufais. Okay, Mandy, write down the question. <laughs> um well maybe we'll ask him. We'll add that's a good question to ask. Yeah, we'll ask. Um Mandy, you have to make sure you record this. Fine. Uve Yudin shall shame. Now, what if you made in the Yud Kevavke of Hashem's name, the Yud Kevavke of Hashem's name, you made the Yud into a Lamed? So then, what are you going to do? You're going to scrape the Yud. You're being Moiche Hashem's name. There's, so there's no Eitzah. You know what you're going to have to do, says Misha Seifrim? You're going to have to remove the entire column of the Sefer Torah and write it again. Well, the I mean, urea, what, the entire urea. The, All the entire four urea, columns. that's the column, right? No, the urea is the sheet, the entire sheet. The whole sheet. The, Torah. the whole sheet, from one stitch to the other. From one stitching to four, the other. Why, it's four not columns of the Sefer Torah. What? Four columns of the Sefer Torah. Four columns. Why can't you just take out one column? I don't know, the minutes to put four columns on one urea. I don't know if that's the market. I don't know. In other words, there's, there's no aid to fix this. You can't erase the Yod because you can't erase Hashem's name. It's not Hashem's name. It's a Lamed. <laughs> it's not <laughs> okay. a Yod. Okay, look what he says. Good. Ach, in my Yod, near a Mamish Kilamed. If a Mamish looks like a, a Lamed, Le'en Koyal, then Yachal Ligror Afilu B'Shem, Be'oifen Shlo Yisharak Guf HaNakuda, Ve'ach Al Yosef Alom Malo Lamata. I mean, that's what I was saying earlier. But but, but Men, um, this is Mendy's point. That if the Yud is Mamish looks like a, a Lamed. Then you'd be allowed to erase it. Why? I am erasing Hashem's name. I never wrote Hashem's name. I wrote Lamed Hey Vavke, Right? I didn't write your of K. So I guess if it's like a gray area, if it's gray matter, what we call, so then it looks like the shame Havaya, I can't erase. I can't erase the whole thing. But if it looks like a Lamed outright, then I could erase even Hashem's name. So I'm going to leave the Nakuda Katana like over here. That's where I got the idea from earlier. And then you add a tag, and you add an ukus, and you'll add a regal yamini. So in other words, if it's going to be questionable, um, one second. So if you wrote like this kind of yud in the yud k vav k, so th there's uh it, it's somewhat questionable. It looks a little bit like a yud. It looks like a lam. It has to be fixed, but you can't erase in the shame avaya. So then, uh, oh, see this. I'm sorry. This he's saying is out is blatantly a lam. So this you could erase. Masha'in Cain, If it's questionable, it seems like uh, you would not be able to erase it. So again, I'm just still um, not sure why in diagram 12 you can't erase the tag, the regal yamini, and the ukits and then rewrite them. But it sounds like um, here you could. Therefore, you should be very careful. You should be very careful what the Baruch Amar says. The Yasa Hakutsois Ketanim Vedakim. That you should make the uh, 
the points, meaning the Baruch Shamar says you have to make sure that the tag on top and the ukits on the bottom is very, very small. So you don't ruin the yud. If it's going to be too big of a tag, Yenira kilamid katan. It's gonna be. It's gonna look like a small lamid. Vim yarech ha ukets shalamata, and if you make the ukets below too long, yenira keches, and then you're gonna get yourself into hot water if it's in the shame of Hashem. Of Amrusin or Rabim Yeshmei hasoyfrim. Sheinam nisharim bezeklal. Some sort of not careful on this at all. Oy moisifin kanal, or they add oy goyin, or they. They take away she'enam oisim klal ukets l'tzad smali. They don't make an ukets at all on the left side. Uve emes roiv ha poiskim pasku karabe notam. The truth is most poiskim pasku karabe notam. The ukets smali ma'akev that the left ukets is ma'akev k'moi regal yamini, just like the left regal. Ach the yesh chiluk beinam. There's going to be a major difference between the regal yamini and the ukets smali. Bidiyavid, um, on the left side, you could fix it even by Tonum Azuzus will have a Shalai Kasidra. In other words, if you let's say don't make the regal the Ukit smiley, you could go back and make it. It's not going to be Shalai Kasidra because it's only a detail. It's not going to help on the right letter. The primagadim has already cried out about this. You have to be very careful. Do not diminish the regal yamini or the uket smoilai. And not to add on to them like we saw in diagram three and four. You don't want to make it too big. You don't want to make the tag on top too big or the the regal smiley too long. The left uket should just be a dot. A little bit more yod is coming out of the actual yod. Okay, let's hold it over here. Again, I want to remind, so tomorrow we're going to, I guess, get together, regular time. Um... And I want to remind everyone, Tuesday, we're going to have the Her Halacha on with us. So I uh, hope everybody could join us for that. And have- You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.